Hi, I'm Ashley Orno, and I am known for the basketball cheerleader half court flip shot that was a YouTube sensation overnight. <laughs> Three years ago, I put the ball at half court and I flipped over it and it actually went in. I mean, it took several times, but it went in. It started when I was, I guess, 12. I was in gymnastics and I also played soccer in a recreation league and someone just told me to flip over the ball one day. And ever since then, I started doing that as a, like a throw in in soccer. And I've known how to do it since I was about 12. And um, just had a basketball game uh, three years ago. I put the ball at half court and I flipped over it and it actually went in. I mean, it took several times, but it went in. Um, I was just really bored. We never really did a halftime show. So um, I was like, hey, grab me a ball. I've got something to show you. And I just did it in my first video ever that first year um, overnight. I got 21 million hits, and that's when I got all the phone calls. And the next year, um, I say I got about 25 million on one and 19 million on another video. And then this year's video, I've gotten about you know 23 million hits. And it's not just America; I mean, it's worldwide. Mm -hmm. I've gotten several contacts on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram from people all over the world that I wouldn't expect. Um, I have Russia, I have Argentina, Brazil, Italy, Germany, actually in France, I have friends that live in France and they actually send me videos on Snapchat, like you're on TV again in France. And I actually got offered to make a special appearance and actually work and coordinate the cheerleaders this year. And I thought it was really cool. They said about uh, it's a week's worth. Uh, they'll fly me out to New York. All my accommodations and everything are paid for. It's just anything extra that I want to do, I have to pay for it. But I thought it was really cool that just by this measly trick shot, I get something so big like this offer. Um, I did it again. And that was the same thing. I was on ESPN Top 10, number one, for the month of February. It was almost the same exact time as the first time I did it. And then actually this year, about the same time I made it and I still have interviews to this day about how I came about how this happened has how has this impact my life so I mean I guess being creative when I was 12 helped me out in the long run I performed with Harlem Globetrotters they actually gave me my jersey they actually gave me a nickname and I actually got to perform with them on the court and I got to do the flip and I didn't make it but I came close but he kind of helped me out and he dunked it after it kind of bounced off the rim and that was really fun. things and a lot of interviews and met some really famous people through it and talked to famous people and I really enjoyed you know the experience I've had with it. I've been in Iceland, let's see, Norway, Sweden, Germany, um, Mexico, pretty much everywhere that has you know some internet connection I've been there. So it's really cool knowing that you know people kind of you know, look up to me in a way as just being this itty bitty YouTube sensation cheerleader that just did a trick shot. <laughs>